Welcome to Angels Talk, Soul Relationships. Here's your host, Sandra Lynch. So, you know, all the nerves that come out of our spine go to our heart, our stomach, our intestinal system, our digestive system, etc. And if we have imbalances in those areas, then those areas are not going to be able to work as well as they could. Once again, blockages, okay? Lots of colors. So lots and lots of colors, and those different colors mean different things. And and I can click oh. on here. Does that mean that there's many solutions coming? That means that there's <laughs> that you're moving. It does move, mean that you're moving forward in a positive direction oh, right now. Oh, okay? good. So yeah, so that's that's something that's really cool about it. And um, once again, if we look at the organs, as and as we as you progress, as you get healthier and stronger on all those levels, mind, body, spirit, we can see how that's changing these things. And I had somebody that just came in the other day, and, and I was telling her, I was showing her on, her on her kidneys that, you know, she seems like a pretty positive person. And I was showing her on her kidneys where it was showing her kidneys were off balance there. And I said, you know, it could be related to maybe not having enough water in your body. But also yeah. emotionally, it can be related to holding on to negative thoughts and negative thinking. And she came in just recently and said, you know, when you told me that, I didn't think that was really right, but after I thought about it, maybe there are some things that I'm holding on to that I need to let go of, you know? And she said, that just made me more conscious of what I need to still work on. Yeah. You know? When I think about that, I think about, I mean, I, I'm not a person that has a lot of clutter in my house. Sure. Uh, but, you know, when you live in a certain amount of space, you try and keep things organized and, and so forth. But... I'm also in a mode now where things that I'm not using, I'm simply putting them in a bag or something and allowing them to move oh, on. Yeah. So, right. and I'm not saying that those were things that were negative, mm -hmm. but they will be things that hold me back and serve as a block oh, yeah. for me. Yeah, and I, I think that can I think that can be so true. You know, I think clutter, a person who has clutter in their house or in their life like that, mm -hmm. they have clutter in their mind. Mm -hmm. And so if they clear the clutter from their physical surroundings, it also helps to clear it metaphorically mm -hmm. from their mind yes. too. And I yes. did that a few years ago, a couple of years, and I still continue to do that. You know, I had all this clutter and I just cleared out everything and had garbage bags of stuff I gave away and things I threw out and this and that. And it, it really did free me. It made me feel much freer and opened my mind for new ideas and new energy to come in. It's amazing how we get attracted to attached oh, yeah. to these yeah. things the material oh, exactly. things when those are not really the things that matter exactly you know? exactly and you know one of the things I wanted to mention too is that we are always working naturally to help the body to heal itself you know I, I think you would agree with me that you know we don't have too, we weren't born with too many organs in our body or we don't we don't have a deficiency of too many drugs of Prozac or whatever that way you know people need you know or don't need actually okay so drugs, there's a place for, for drugs and medication, but drugs never really heal a problem. Mm -hmm. They may manage a problem, and if somebody lets their body go too far, they may, have, they may need something for high blood pressure. They may have, need something for, for diabetes or whatever. What we want to do is get to them before they get to that crisis situation so we can help the body to, once again, to heal itself. Kind of like me. Exactly. I mean, I'm not exactly. in a crisis, but there no, are some things can, that to look at. And if we can start looking at these things now and addressing things, the things now when they haven't manifested so much, you're not feeling them physically necessarily, then we can help you to get to the point so your body can heal itself and, and then you maybe never, never get to that point where you have to, mm -hmm. you know, have to have something for mm -hmm. blood sugar problems or you have to have something for heart problems or for, you know, for high blood pressure. You know, mm. but there's a place for everything. If people let their bodies go too far, sometimes they do have to have surgery. Sometimes they do have to take medications. But what our big point is like, let's get to this before that happens. And if even if somebody's at a point where they have to have some medications, et cetera, we can help support them. So maybe they can work with their doctor 
um, their pharmacist to have to take less medications because those medications accumulate in our body and can cause toxins. Those are toxins accumulate in our liver, our kidneys, and cause, can cause other problems. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you, I keep rambling on here, but, okay. you know, one of the things that I want to talk about, too, is that lifestyle is such a huge part of diseases. The, the most prevalent problems that we're having right now are problems with heart disease, diabetes, mm. um, you know, cancer, cancer, okay? Cancer. You know, and some people say, well, cancer, that's hereditary or high blood pressure. That's my parents had high blood pressure, you know, or, you know, so-and-so, you know, my whole family you know, most, most of their family has diabetes. Most of that has to do with lifestyle and what they're eating, what they're taking in to their body. And so, you know, it can seem like it's hereditary because most of their family has that. Well, it's because most of their family eats the same way. They're eating junk. They're eating high fructose corn syrup. They're eating refined sugar. They're eating all these packaged and, and, um, and pro processed foods, okay? And so what we try to emphasize and what I try to emphasize in myself and my diet for my patients also is to eat whole foods, to have a balanced diet. And that's one of the things that we do with the, with when we're working with somebody. Guess with what? Person. There's another call, phone call waiting on the hotline for oh, you. Oh, great, great. Hello, caller. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah. What's the way you can determine if your uh, heart's in good shape or not? And uh, is exercise somewhat important? I'll leave you with that. Thanks. Okay, so I think the question was how can you determine if your heart is in good shape or not? Yeah, okay. that's right. Okay, well, you know, one of the things we can do, are you having any physical problems like shortness of breath or are you having any problems with, you know, rapid heartbeat or something along those lines, or high blood pressure that you might be having a concern about with your, with your heart? Uh, everything seems fine. I just, from observing other people's lives and hearing about heart attacks, I'm, you know, just overlooking this thing, trying to be wise. Right, right. And what's your age? About 32. Okay, so you're about. a young guy. You're a young guy still. <laughs> I like that. So, so, you know, one of the ways we can help to determine the, the, the strength of your body your heart is by some of the testing that we can do. The biopulsar can also show us, basically give us some indications of how that organ's doing. And now some of the other testing that I do with kinesiology, we can actually help determine that. Now if you're having, you know, there's also other types of lab tests and other things like that that a cardiologist could do. But if you're not having any symptoms of anything right now, you know, the other testing that we can do and that can help with that, okay? And yes, you know, for sure, Definitely exercise is important. You know, if you haven't been on an exercise program or if you're, you know, overweight or something along those lines, then you probably want to check with your doctor first to make sure you don't have high blood pressure or have other problems before you start a really serious, strenuous exercise program. But even starting things like yoga or, or, um, or just even walking is a great, great source, source of exercise to start with, okay? So... I would say that would be a, you know, a good way to start. If you're having any physical symptoms, I would, you know, check with your physician about that. But since you aren't, I would say that, you know, there's other ways that we can help to determine that and help to get your, your, make sure your health continues to be strong and healthy with having a proper lifestyle, eating the right foods, um, getting the right nutrients that you need for your body to be healthy and strong and to keep your health, your heart strong too. How about the bipulsar? Okay. How, how about the body pulsar with this question? If he was, if he was to uh, put his hand on the have a pulsar. screen, a screening is that what you're calling it? A right, screening. Right. Right. If the bio pulsar can help show indications if there are things going on, imbalances in those parts of the body. Okay.